Imagine that we have a ball that moves in this trajectory. Now, keep in mind, this is the same ball shown at three different times, which means we can write three different velocity vectors. Now, what I'm going to do is take each one of these velocity vectors, and I'm going to split them up into components. And notice how the vertical component is initially pointing up, then it goes to zero, and just before the end of the flight, it points down. This is due to the fact that gravitational acceleration is influencing the ball at each point in time. But what would happen if we only focused on the horizontal components of velocity? Well, if we assume that wind resistance is negligible, then the horizontal velocity is going to be the same at every point of the ball's motion. So for example, if the initial velocity in the x direction is 10 meters per second, then at every point of the ball's flight, the horizontal velocity will remain 10 meters per second. We actually have a simple way of calculating the distance of the ball. All you need to do is take the horizontal velocity of the projectile and multiply it by the time of flight. This will allow you to calculate the horizontal distance or range which the projectile has traveled. 